Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna cover essential camping gear for backpacking. So if you're trying to get into backpacking and you have no clue what to get, this will be the video for you. I am currently hiking on the Foothills Trail along Chattooga River, and we're about two, two miles out from the camping spot. And tonight's supposed to get down pretty cold. So I think in the 20s, and I have a couple friends with me. The first thing you should think about getting is a backpack. The bag I have right now is an Oxbray. 55 liter. I got it in 2017. It's been a great bag. Only issue I ever had with this bag is uh, one of the buckles did break. And then I just reach out to the company and they, they send me a free replacement. So this uh, this company have lifetime warranty on all their products. So yeah, another thing when it comes to backpacks, there are many different sizes. You can get as small as 25 liters or go all the way up at two. Uh, 75 liters. My philosophy when it comes to backpacks is get the size of bag you think you need to fit all your essential gear. A lot of time people will get a bag that is way too big and they'll put way more stuff in there that they might not need and just gonna weigh them down from the backpacking experience. Found our home for the night. It is so nice. I'm gonna show you guys. We got our beach area right here. Nice beach. Look at that. And then up here is our campsite. Whew. Oh my gosh! It looks so nice. Check this out. Got our fire pit. I wish I brought a flask. <laughs> this is like 10 out of 10 campsite yeah. right here. I don't think you could get any better. Hey, by the way, this is Wes. Hello. And that's Mary. You guys might remind, uh, remember them from two years ago when Wes had a backpack and had like a bunch of straps. <laughs> <laughs> but he have, since then he had the upgrade to a backpack, real backpack. Hey, what, Nevo Rhino. What size of bag is it? It's a 50, 45 plus five. Okay. Why did you choose a 45 liter compared to like a 70 liter? I didn't think I'd be holding that much stuff for an overnight hike. 70 liters probably for a through hiker for the AT. This is a REI Trail Hunt 2. They don't make this tent anymore, but um, it's a great tent. Fairly light, a little bit over four pounds. It's for two person. But um, when I first started off, I bought a tent from Walmart and um, it was huge. It took majority of my space in my bag. So once I switched to this, I can actually strap this tent to the outside of my backpack. So it saved all the space in my bag. When it comes to camping gear, um, you pay more for light, lighter weight stuff. Get you a reliable tent. So is this you guys' first time using this tent? Yes. <laughs> and look, you can use your trekking poles. That's so cool. Yeah, so this tent is a little different than mine. Mine's more like a traditional tent, but this is a, yeah, like Mary said, they use their tracking poles 
as a steak. Next, this is a Lima Ultra Light sleeping pad. I actually just got this, um, so I'm very interested to try this out. Um, it is very small and light, and it has an R value of 4.2, so the R value measures how warm or how insulated the sleeping pad is. Um, before, I just bought a cheap one, and over the, tri over the camping trips I've done, um, over the night, my back will be extremely cold just because the sleeping pad I had was just terrible. But yeah, very excited to try this out. Um, but I will say it is worth the money to spend a little bit more to buy a good sleeping pad in order to have a good night of rest. Talk about sleeping bag. So this is my REI 650 fill down sleeping bag. I got it uh, a year ago. Um, I really love it. Um, because it's really light and it can pack down to really small. This is about the size of a water bottle. This is a 30 degree sleeping bag. Um, the reason I went with the 30 degree because I like to use it for all four seasons. Um, just because I don't want to have two sleeping bags. Just because a lot of people have a one for the summer and fall. Um, and then maybe one for the winter. But I would like to get one that can fit all. In the summertime, I should use this, but I just open it all the way up and sleep on top. But in the wintertime, it's definitely warm enough, especially in the area I live in. Um, you know, the lowest, it gets down to maybe in sometime in the teens, but besides that, uh, it's pretty good. So like tonight, it's gonna get down to 20 degrees. I feel like you can always dress up if it is gonna get really cold. So So next, I got a pillow, um, very light. Really, any any kind of pillow works fine. Uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money. I never had an issue with this pillow. Uh, it's very light and uh, it serves its purpose. This is a water filter. This is a one liter. Um, I love this water filter because I can drink directly from this or I can use this filter uh, into another bottle. This is very handy, especially if you're doing an overnight camping trip or even a couple nights that you know that where you're going, there's gonna be some water source that, so you don't have to bring a lot of water because that's gonna weigh down your backpack. All these items I've talked about, I'm gonna link it in the description. This camping spot, it's so nice like I can't believe we came up to this spot like we have this beach area right here and then the, the river right here and then our campsite is up here like you just can't get better than this. The next few items is definitely essential to have um, when it comes to cooking. So I have this little canister. This is a small one. You can use this probably last you for a couple of nights. They do make bigger ones. You know, when it comes to camping, you do not want to carry more than you have to. A small one will do for a couple of nights. And then I got this little burner. This is a jet boil burner. Um, it's great. So it compacts down to really to be really small. You can fold these in.
and the next thing is a pot. You know, especially if you can cook MREs and stuff, you will still need to boil some water, so a pot is nice. What's good about this titanium pot is that the canister, I'm gonna take this off. So the canister fit in the pot, and then the burner can also fit in there. So this is definitely, so this is definitely nice because it does reduce your space in your backpack. Okay, so the next item is not a essential item, but Wes, you want to explain the next item? Sure. So here you got your air press coffee maker. You have your filter. And then it's kind of like a fr French press. You put coffee in it and fill it up to three. And you put it over your cup, press down, and it compacts up real good when you pack it up. So like Bo said, not an essential item, but if you're a coffee maker drinker like us, highly recommended. All right, so we're all, all right. packed up. Ready we're to good. Head out. The journey back. How far is it? Five miles. Woo! Whoa! Hopefully it's as easy as it was coming in. I hope it'll warm up. Coming back is definitely a challenge. It's definitely a big difference in elevation gain. I hope you guys learned something from this video and that you got a better idea what to get for your first camping trip. Um, I know all the items I cover is not essential to have, but as long as you have the basic items, then I would suggest, you know, get outdoor and enjoy a camping trip. So there's just something about the nature that it offers you can't get anywhere else so yeah i will see you guys in the next video